Hello. One of the things the practitioners are always asking me is about observation and assessment and how and when they should make those observations of children. And more importantly, what do they do with all this massive information that they've gathered from them? To help, we're going to visit Jane, a nursery teacher, to see how she incorporates assessment into her setting. She's chosen two contrasting four-year-olds for us to keep our eye on. And we're not going to do a commentary over the top because Jane is well able to speak for herself. In a second programme, I'm going to be joined by Jane and some fellow practitioners just to see how that assessment can be as effective as possible. Anyway, in Hansworth, the nursery day is about to begin. Let's go. The nursery serves the surrounding area, which is majority now a Muslim area. We have children from India, we have children from Pakistan, we have children from Bangladesh. So you have an, any number of languages. The majority of the children will have not had any early years experience until they come first to nursery. The Marnie is a very, very confident little girl. She can be quite dominant in the sense that she likes to lead the play rather than to actually play with the other children. She wants to be in charge. We've been learning all about gardens. What kind of things are we doing, children? Fatima is, is a very quietly confident little girl in the sense that she will happily occupy herself with an activity and perhaps stay there for quite some time. And then we gently have to say to her, would you like to go and find somewhere else? Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Mary, Mary has grown into quite a, an important theme and we started off by actually taking the children for a walk around the environment to look at gardens within the area, to look at their own gardens. And then we've tried to recreate a garden within the nursery itself. And Big Ted said to Molly, here you are, there are some seeds. Molly, you will plant them and they will grow into beautiful flower. Do you think so? Where should she put the sunflowers? Well, do you know what she did? She opened up the, the packet and, and she took the seeds out. She put some of them on a table. Big Ted said, no, 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 Molly. That's not what you do with the seeds. Big Ted said, no, 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 Molly. He said, you have to. What do you have to do, Daniel? Put it in. You have to put it in the soil. Big Ted hoy se bista ki zodi gas tul ta sao the matir bitra harani lage. Moni, what do you think that the seeds going to need? It's got the soil. Water. 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 Good girl. It needs some water. Water. If you do all of those things, you will grow a beautiful sunflower. Big Teddy Hoy said, Do the Tasha Holta Horror, the Shundor Sunflower Rutbo. So, I want you to choose what it is that you would like to do this morning, and you can go off and play. Well done, children. <laughs> Another pen. Yellow. What about orange? Brown. 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 
Amani will always utilise all of the activities during the session. She likes to lead the play rather than to actually play with the other children. She wants to be in charge. Somebody might pass them to you. There we go. Lots of goodies for you to use. That is beautiful, Arude. Look, she's made a frog. It's got a punk haircut. You could sing a song about him. Do you know a song about him? Yeah. What do you know? There's a worm at the bottom of the garden. That's the worm at the bottom of the garden. There you are. Look, there's some red ones there. You could go and take it and put it in Mary's garden, couldn't you? We embrace every festival so the children are given a flavour of all the cultures, not to mention languages they're likely to meet in adult life. to change the word silver and that is rufali okay everybody say rufali 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 and we're going to change the word pretty and that is can you remember pretty shundar excellent one two three merry merry quite contrary how does your baga grow Ruffelly bells and cockle shells and shunder maids all in a row. Oh, oh, oh. and shunder maids all in a row. Well done. We either need to have all the children outside or none of them because of the health and safety. A week later, Fatima was one of my focused children. The whole session was outdoors after a story stimulus. Now this is going to be in our story. Let Molly hold the packet there. It's autumn time and the trees are blowing. Right children, I want you to stand up very carefully. We're going to lead outside very slowly, no pushing.
I do firmly believe that by using the story as a starting point actually encourages the children then to go and look at more stories so that any stories that we do in fact do, they will take into their own play and use that as a starting point for their own involvement. <laughs> can involve herself solely in one activity and perhaps not want to move as much as the others would because she actually likes the adult company so she tends to find an activity with an adult running it and she will stay there for quite some time. Do you want to make another one? Choose another colour then. I think if you were watching what she was doing with the flower, you noticed that she was actually selecting the right colours. And she was very precise about where she wanted each of the straws to go as part of her model. As early as practitioners, we've all been making those informal observations, those mental notes about what the children can or cannot do, or what we need to do, or how much further we need to take them in their learning. numbers in your circle. Good girl, give her a clap. Who can find me a pink one? <coughs> Tasneem, a pink circle like your pink top. Jump in it. What number have you found? What is it? Seven. Seven. Good girl. Well done. Who can find a red circle? <coughs> Yusuf. What number, sir? Five. Well done. Give him a big clap. Now... I think anybody who's got a love of working with young children will know that their learning comes through play. But it has to be well-organised, challenging play that will involve the children and allow them to take it on and to make it into a more meaningful experience. Didn't those children have wonderful mornings? In our second programme, we're going to look back at all the assessment opportunities and see how they could be made to work in all early years settings for any practitioners. Until then, goodbye.